What is up guys, Enrique from DSM Tool here and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna talk about eBay selling limits. And before we start, if you feel considerate, hit that like button if you feel that this information is going to be useful for you. Subscribe and hit the notification bell button because we're constantly uploading videos and I am going live every single week, so stay tuned for that. So, dive into the video. Today, we're gonna talk about what are eBay selling limits, types of limits, Number three, tips to request an increase of selling limits and fastest ways to double up your limit. So without further ado, let's start this video. To understand what are eBay selling limits, let me go ahead and screen share right now with you. And right now I'm at the seller hub. You get this seller hub every time that you open up an eBay account. And if you do open it as a seller. So if you scroll down over here, you'll see this little tab called monthly limits. So you have two types of limits. Number one, you have the quantity of items you can sell per month. And number two, you have the monetary limits that you're allowed to sell. So for example, as a beginner, you're given 10 items and you only have the chance to make sales for no more than $500. So you have to keep in consideration this two, this two specific uh, tabs. So number one, you can list 10 products in which, for example, you can make the most out of sales, but you cannot surpass 500 bucks. So for example, if I have 10 items and if I want to sell each item for $50, if you add that up, that is going to give me $500 that I can go ahead and list. If I want to surpass that, I will, I will not be able to. So as a beginner, try to make sales under, let's say $20, $30 at most. Uh, because first of all, you're trying to be number one, try to sell at a very cheap price or at least a reasonable price and number two you don't want to go over your limit so the question is why does ebay limit you as a seller well they have to maintain a reputation right so they like working with sellers that supply the correct items that give out a good customer support that give out a very good shipping method and so on the reason behind that is because they want to keep buyers on their platform and it makes sense right and also you as a seller you want to maintain your customers so that is why they limit you because in order to maintain some sort of control when you are a beginner, they limit you with certain amount of sales that you can make or listings that you can actually make. So once you start gaining more experience, once you start having more, let's say momentum on your store and giving out great customer service, that is very important by the way, then you can limit increase every single time. But you can also request a limit increase and you don't have to wait, let's say a month to get that. Let me go ahead and give you further details of how this works. Let me start by saying that eBay normally reviews your account every 20th of every month, right? So if you meet their metrics when it comes to the account review, let's say you are on top of your orders, you are having great sales, you're generating some traffic, you're constantly listings and so on and so forth, then they might provide you an increase on your limits. Now, as a beginner, it normally takes around 90 days for them to provide that limit increase. But you can actually request that increase without waiting that long. And you can do that by just simply going on your monthly limits and click here, request to list more. Now, before I dive into that topic, I want to say that once you create a listing, you have to wait a full month in order for you to either create a new listing or provide the same listing that you created before. So that depends on you. You have to be very strategic about it. Let's say you have to review w which products are giving you enough sales and generate some traffic, but that's a different topic on a different video. And also we are doing live constantly so I can show you the which are the best products that you guys can actually list and sell. But let me show you how you can request a limit increase. Okay guys, so let's dive into it. The first thing you wanna do is click here in this tab, request to list more. You'll be taken to this page where you can request a limit increase by contacting eBay through the phone. That is very cool. You can actually talk to an agent from eBay. To do that, 
click on this option, just click continue. Before I do that though, I just want to disclose that this account that I currently have, I have not made any listings whatsoever, nor any sales. This account is just for the sole purpose that I want to show you guys how eBay selling limits work and how you how can you request a higher limit increase. So if I click continue, I'll get this following message. So I cannot go on and try to talk to an agent to get an increase. I'm not eligible for it right now. This is, I want to go ahead and disclose this for you guys. So in order for you to actually talk to an agent and get that limit increase that you want, you first need to have a listing and first need to have generated some sales in order for you to act on this on this part or this topic. So let's say that I already have my listings. Let's say that I want to request a limit increase and I already made some sales. Let me give you some awesome tips that you can apply once you are talking to that agent. Number one, always keep in handy your eBay ID number. You can find that by going over here in the top corner on the left, and you'll be able to see this number right here. Always have that available. Then always have your registered address. Go to account settings, right? And hit addresses. That is where you have your address registered. So always have that in handy. And last but not least, your email and your phone number because that is asked during the validation process that the eBay agent has to do. So tip number two, do not mention, for the love of God, do not mention that you're dropshipping from AliExpress. That is another marketplace. This violates the eBay dropshipping policy, right? And I actually, I'll place over here in the top, a little link so you can see that video that we made regarding this topic how you can actually work around that policy still make great profits using aliexpress as your main source but you can mention getting back to this topic you can mention that you're working with different chinese suppliers so do not give out more information just say that then third tip do not mention that you're trying to sell or that you're planning to sell high risk products for example cell phones right stick to products that are easier to ship and that they normally don't present any problems such as let's say kitchen appliances home and garden appliances and so on and so forth Tip number four when asked say that you want a high number of increase don't be afraid to talk even though you're a beginner don't be afraid to talk now what you can say is that you have a supplier that has over a products of 100 SKUs and let me show you what I'm talking about right here for example just to give you an idea SKU this is the product serial number as you guys can see over here right this is the product serial number say in th say this because in terms of let's say business wise online this is the most commonly used among sellers right maybe they will give you a high number of increase however you still have the chance to raise up your limits in a very good margin now, last tip and tip number five. If, let's say, you don't get an increase after your first contact, don't worry. Don't sweat it. So you can still wait two to three maybe days or business days, however you want to do it, and contact them again to get that increase. The reason behind this is that when you call eBay once, you talk to a specific agent. And when you contact back, right, then you can talk to a different agent. So for example, let's say that you talk to an agent that maybe is not having a great day, then most likely they will not give you an increase. But maybe you have the big luck that you talk to a great agent and this person might give you an increase. So just, this is a numbers game. Try, try again, don't worry. And don't be afraid to do it. Just at least, at least wait two to three days. That is my that is what I want to advise you guys. But let me give you an example of a product that you actually can list. For example, you have this coffee metal cutting dies, right, for scrapbooking. So this product has two different variations to stamp in the die. And if you want to know which one you can source or you can try to drop ship, click on this transaction history tab over here, right, 26 sold overall. 
and you'll be directed to this page and you can see different variations, the price that were sold and the quantities with the data purchase. So for example, you can see that the tendency is that people like the stamp, right? And this is a product that has been sold more than four times during the past 30 days. So this is a very good product that you may consider uh, to drop ship or to source. So this is an example of a product that you can stick to once you're a beginner. Once you start gaining more momentum and once you start ha um, having more increase in terms of money increase, in terms of quantity of product increase, then you can actually start listing more and more products with more variations. You can start listing 50 to 100 products or more, right? But for now, this is my advice. Stick to products that they don't have much variations or any variations at all. So let me give you another tip, for example. Let's say you want to list this exact item, right? So you can source it on AliExpress. And if you have DSM tool, this is the cool part. If you have DSM tool and you have the DSM Google Chrome extension, you can pretty much list this item in DSM quicker. Click on this button and you'll be taken to this page, which is the rapid lister feature. And you can pretty much import the item, right? So I just want to talk about this very quick because I want to give you more and more tips of how to actually get an increase. And once eBay reviews your account every 20th of every month, you will be able to meet their metrics. So let's start by saying that eBay search engine is called Project Cassini. So this Project Cassini loves sellers that are always active on the page. So for example, we have this feature called the schedule button where you can list and schedule your listings accordingly. So the more you are constantly listing, right? And you can do this as you can see by the, by the day, month, year, however you want to do it. But the, the cool thing about this is as long as you're, as you're constantly listing products and also generating more sales, having great traffic, optimizing your store, and not to mention giving out great customer service, you will be more and more eligible to get an increase. Once you request that increase or even eBay, can actually give you that increase without you even asking. So that is very cool. So guys, these are the tips that I gave you in order to get a selling limit increase. And this is how eBay selling limits work. So before we end up this video, I just wanna say that I go live every single week. Every Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I go live and I showcase seven awesome winning products so you can consider listing into your store and they will definitely give you some profits and some traffic. So stay tuned for that. And further on along the way, hopefully in about a week or two or depending on when this video is published, we might have a new live format where we're gonna give you awesome prices. So stay tuned for that. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell button because we're constantly uploading videos. And like I previously said, I am constantly going live. So this is Enrique from DSM Tool. See you in the next one, guys.